I recently had a chance to interview a multi, multi millionaire on our XM radio show. Many of you know him, Harvecker, uh, author of Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, and he was an incredible interview, as you can imagine. If you haven't read the book, please read the book. So what's the takeaway from Harv's work? As a matter of fact, our radio show is heard on XM 168, channel 168, every Saturday, 6 to 9 Eastern, 3 to 6 Pacific. And it's also broadcast live via our internet site, talkdavid.com. So if you don't have XM 168, go to talkdavid.com every Saturday, 6 to 9 Eastern, which is 3 to 6 Pacific. So Harbecker is the kind of a guy that's made a millions of dollars, lost millions of dollars. As a matter of fact, he said the first time he made $1.5 million, he, he took two years off and was living life and just doing things. And he woke up two years later and said, I have no money left. I need to do it again. But instead of just doing it again, he went out and studied the multimillionaires in the world to find out what is needed above drive and talent. Now he's one of the first ones that's gonna to say to you it's not enough to to just use your mind, it's not enough just to be talented. You need to be able to work hard and really smart. And as he interviewed all these people, he found out something that you'll read about in the book called our money blueprint or our money thermostat. And if you look at your past history of money, as I looked at this, I was blown away. I said, oh my God, this is so true is that most of us have a money thermostat. In other words, that we're comfortable making X amount of dollars per year. It might be 30,000, 50,000, 100,000, it might be 500,000. But when we want and try to make more money than whatever that thermostat has been set at, and that thermostat usually is set at birth by our environment, by the way that our, our, our parents or role models handled money, talked about money, etc then until we erase that old money thermostat or blueprint and replace it with a new one, we're always going to stay at a certain level. In other words, you might find ways to make money and make more money and make more money, but you're gonna lose it, you're gonna give it away, you're gonna marry someone who's gonna spend it all. There's gonna be some way that you're gonna lose your money. And, and, and the book is fascinating because as I was interviewing him, I saw myself in so many of Harv's examples. The, the book goes into great detail and of course they have all kinds of weekend intensives that I would highly recommend. But one of the exercises that he gave and he talked about on the air that I thought was really relevant is he said, write down, become aware of your habits with money. Become aware of, are you at a certain income? And, and once you get to a certain income, do you find ways to screw with yourself, to sabotage yourself, and to lose money through investments or whatever it might be? Number one. Number two is look at the way you were raised. Write down the phrases that you heard in your childhood. And I mean this sincerely. This video is going to be just a couple minutes long. Take the time to do this. Write down what you heard. You know, money doesn't grow on trees. And, and rich people are usually greedy and they're filthy rich and all those kind of phrases. Write down all of those phrases. And then he takes you through a couple exercises in the book about reframing our thought process. Now I'm going to tell you this, when it comes to changing beliefs, we really usually need to do it, especially big beliefs like around money or love or our bodies, whatever it might be. We usually need help. Now this book, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, is one of the tools that you can use. Going to workshops intensives would be another. Working with a financial planner, working with a life coach, whatever it might mean. Usually if we're stuck in life and we're not able to get past certain plateaus with our body, money, love, God, it's going to take help from the outside world. But if you just look at these two things I mentioned to you, take a look through awareness of where you're stuck with money and how do you sabotage your success once you make a certain amount of money. What's the most you ever made and how long have you been stuck at that level? Number one. Then number two, write down all of the beliefs that you heard growing up that you still might believe today. Many people erroneously quote the Bible. Money is the root of all evil. And it doesn't say that at all in the Bible. It says love of money is the root of all evil. You see, so these beliefs are screwing with us. Harv Ecker, check him out. The guy is amazing. I was so blessed to have him on the show. We're going to have him back. But if you just do these two tips I mentioned to you, you might start to open up new ways where you can become financially independent, maybe even a millionaire. Check it out, talkdavid.com. If I can ever help you in any way in accomplishing your most important goals in life, contact me at talkdavid.com. Don't forget to watch or listen to the radio show every Saturday. All the information, dates, times, etc., is on the website, talkdavid.com. Okay? Let's become financially independent together. Have a great day.